break up with your girlfriend. Yeah, 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 cause I'm bored. We can hit it in the morning. Yeah, yeah, like it's yours. I think this looks good. I think we are ready to roll. Let's do it. Okay, you need to, whoa. Uh, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about money. How to save money in college and just like life in general because these tips kind of just... How to save money. There we go. How to save money. That is what we're gonna be talking about today and have a few tips for you guys. Personally, I am pretty good with saving my money. I don't buy like unnecessary things or at least things that I don't think are unnecessary. First things first, Make your coffee at home. Just do it. Just do it. Please just do it. If you buy a $5 cup of coffee every day at Starbucks, your money just goes like down the drain. Like if you make a cup of coffee at home, let's say you have a Keurig. I feel like one Keurig cup is like a dollar. And then let's say you add creamer, which is like $3 for the bottle. Let's split it up into a few days. Let's say 50 cents. That's a dollar fifty for a cup of coffee versus like $5 at Starbucks. Like that money you will save adds up so quickly. All right, we had some technical difficulties. Of course. Oh no. My thing like just kept stop recording out of nowhere, but I think I fixed it. Hopefully, hopefully, because I don't know what else to do. Um, I tried a few things, but anyways, let's get on with the video. Where are we? I forget. Second tip is to do a secret Santa, uh, like for Christmas, if you have a big group of friends. So instead of buying like something for every single friend, you guys put your names in a hat and then everyone gets one person and it makes it more fun too, because you don't know who has you. Plus you get to save a lot of money because you'll buy one gift instead of like five or six or however many people that you have. I did that last year with my teammates and it was really fun. We just said like $10 and under. So it was really cheap, really fun. And I don't know, just a fun little thing to do, you know? Next is to find a hobby that you like doing. Mine is vlogging. If you wanna check out my vlog channel, I will have it linked at the end of this video. Never, ever, ever buy your textbooks. Rent them online. There are so many different places that you can rent them. I just get mine off of Amazon and it's like under $30. I don't think I've paid more than $30 for a textbook and I'm almost halfway through college. So yeah, rent, don't buy. That is the motto. Don't eat out every single day. I don't know how people do that. Like every night they go out to dinner. I don't get that at all. I like to cook. I like to make my own food at home. I love going out like maybe once a week, maybe twice a week, but like any more than that, I'm just like, no, I'm gonna make food at home. I have food at home and it's cheaper. Saves me money. Saves me a lot of money actually. Along with eating at home comes grocery shopping and I have a few tips for that on how to get the most out of your grocery shopping trip and just how to save the most money and all that so here are my grocery shopping tips for you all first of all make a list meal prep figure out what you need what you want to make that is if you like if um, make kind of like a list of what you already have at home that way you don't buy duplicates and like if they're like fresh then they don't go bad because you have too many you didn't eat them quick enough so always make a list and then make a list of what you want to buy that way when you get into the grocery store you're not like overwhelmed by like everything and then you'll just go like to the snacks and buy all the snacks like make a list of what you need I have a lot of grocery hauls like kind of in my vlog so if you want to go see kind of what I get then you can go check those out but I mostly get healthy stuff like I went grocery shopping yesterday and I only bought one or two things that were not like quote-unquote healthy part of the reason is because I just don't want to spend the money on like junk food because like you don't necessarily need junk food but also it just it's healthier so you save money and you eat healthier so yeah, don't let yourself buy like so much junk food like one or two things a week is fine Also try to buy like some items in bulk. I love Costco because I can get like a huge thing of like just like pasta like different kinds of pasta for really cheap you gotta be careful with this one though don't buy like I shop for myself I only grocery shop for one person and that's me so I don't go out and I buy like 12 bananas or whatever because I'm not gonna eat them all before they go bad I have to know like how much I eat I usually eat like one banana a day so I'll get like five or six to last me like a week and then like the last two days I'm just like whatever it's fine but only buy as much food as you know you're gonna eat you don't want to buy too much food and then have it go to waste because it went bad or anything things that expire you know in like a year or just take a while to like they don't go bad easily what am I you guys know what I'm trying to say for school supplies now I know most 
schools you really only need like a computer because you do all of your homework online but if you like to take notes the old-fashioned way like writing stuff down in a notebook or whatever only buy one notebook I've used the same notebook for like the past two years and I'm only like halfway through so yeah because like most of my classes are like hands-on so I don't take a lot of notes don't buy like all this expensive like crap that you don't need like a few pencils a folder a notebook and like that's pretty much it like that's really all you need <laughs> now for shopping you go out with your friends to the mall if you find something that you like but you don't know if you love it but you kind of like it but you don't know don't get it if you try it on and you don't immediately love it to pieces don't buy it okay don't buy it if you're only 50% there you have to be 100% in love with the piece to buy it I have learned this the hard way I bought so many things like thinking that I would be like oh like it's gonna look so cute with that and that and that and that but like not cute on its own if it's not cute on its own then like don't buy it because I'd rather buy something that I 100% am in love with than like two things that are each like 50%. Now for those of you who know me like in real life, if you're my friends watching this or my family, my parents, my sister, what's up Morgan? You know that I am very sensitive when it comes to my car and my gas money. I don't like wasting gas at all. I don't like it. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I don't know if I'm crazy or not. I will plan out, like if I have a few errands to run that day, I will plan it all out so that it's the least driving possible because like if you go like here and then there and then there, it's a lot more than if you just go like that, you know what I mean? Like the quickest, least, ew, did you hear that? The least amount of gas. Also, I don't know if this is true, but I heard if you accelerate and deaccelerate really fast, then you use more gas than if you like accelerate slowly. So like, I don't know about you guys, but like I never like just slam on my gas pedal to go. I always do like a gradual, like, you know, acceleration. I'll slam on my brakes every once in a while because I have to, but I will never slam on my gas pedal unless someone is like about to hit me, like behind me. I will never slam on it. I will always go gradual because I just feel like it like saves gas. I don't even know if that's true. Let me know. Someone like let me know down below if I'm just like making this up. So I know I mentioned before to try not to go out to restaurants to eat all the time, but if you do, just order a water. I usually just buy a water and an appetizer and I am full depending on how big the appetizer is, maybe two appetizers, but I never really buy like a whole meal unless there's like a discount or it's like, I don't know, it's just like not that expensive in general. Always look for discounts. I only go to the movies on Tuesdays because they're half off. I will never go to a movie on like a different day. Try to use your student discount. Always ask if they have it. If not, oh well, but at least you tried. Just be aware of different discounts that companies have. I know like Texas Roadhouse, I believe has like, they have some kind of discount on weekdays, like before six or something. So like, I will like use that to say like, okay, if we're going out to dinner, we have like, let's go like before six to Texas Roadhouse on like a Friday, you know, like save money that way. I don't know if like you guys are like, wow, like this girl is out of her mind, but it saves me money, you know? Gotta love it. The last tip I have is to just be smart with your money and use what you actually buy. Let's take like lotion for example. I have so much lotion, like body lotion, mostly because I steal them from hotel rooms, which doesn't really count, but I like don't remember the last time I actually bought a body lotion because I have so many lotions and I will not buy a new one until I'm completely out of my old ones. Don't buy something of like the same thing that you already have until you use the other one up you know what I mean sure like I like having variety I have like a few lotions but like I don't need like 30 lotions you know like I'm gonna use this one up throw it out maybe get a new one and like just keep them you know rotating around not just like a giant thing of like half used lotions like that drives me crazy I can't do that so that is gonna be it for this video I know that it was kind of like rambly and I just talked a lot but I'm gonna edit most of it out so you guys won't know how much I actually talked yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what other videos you want to see down below I mostly just do vlogs now on my other channel but I do like making these sit down videos and like that kind of stuff just to like talk I just love talking yeah let me know what you want to see down below and I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you later almost forgot to get a thumbnail you guys oh my god